Are you ready? Greetings as we talk Garden State football here on the Jersey Mike's Wrap-Up Show for the Morris County Youth Football League. I'm your host, Neil Sika. Now, we're not at Brickyard Field this week for our kickoff extravaganza, but a very special thanks to Hanover Township for their gracious hosting of our event last week. We've got a lot to get through. Five weeks of the season complete, so teams are jostling for playoff positions. A full look at the standings right after this. From the creators of the U.S. Army Bowl comes Football University. The most exclusive football training in the country invites, trains, and announces the next generation of football stars. If you're a 6th to 12th grader with elite football ability, FBU is for you. FBU matches elite athletes with elite instruction. Nominate an athlete today at footballuniversity.org. FBU, by position, by professionals, by invitation only. FBU now! This is the Morris County Youth Football League Jersey Mike's wrap-up show. They've completed five weeks through the varsity, JV, and Pee Wee levels. Let's take a look at the standings. In the varsity division, Lenape Valley and Jefferson posted shutouts to stay unbeaten, while Denville had a little more work to do against Somerset Hills to stay 5-0. In the JV National Conference, Twinboro is no longer unbeaten. They lost to Long Valley, who's 5-0. There were five shutouts in games featuring Pee Wee teams over the weekend. Most importantly, though, Newton beat first place Hackettstown. That's a look at the Morris County Youth Football League standings. We'll come back to put a bow on the show right after this. Before we go, a special thanks to Jersey Mike's for this exciting digital platform for all of our youth athletes and coaches so they can showcase themselves and their teams. Jersey Mike's is a sub sandwich franchise with over 750 locations nationwide that are open and under development. They've got a long history of community involvement and support. The East Coast style subs provide over 70% of the daily protein for youth and high school athletes. That's why they'll be fueling up all season long at the U.S. Army All-American Bowl, the FBU National Championship, the East Bay Youth All-American Bowl, and the FBU camps all across the country. This is Neil Sika. Please join us next time where we'll wrap it up Mike's way here on the Jersey Mike's Wrap-Up Show. Until then, good night. Be sure to check out all the youth football action on jerseymikes.com FBU.